Today we will learn how to create a gaming app like Ludo King. You can make unlimited income by creating gaming app. You do not need to know programming language to create this gaming app. Now you can see the demo of Ludo Game App. Very nice game design. You can turn music on or off before playing the game. <laughs> Music, but keep the sound on, okay? You can choose the player to play the game. For example, we will choose two players. You can change the name of the player. Then we can start the game. We will definitely earn money by using Google Ads in Gaming App. I will discuss these issues with you step by step. This way you can play Ludo games with your friends. Or we can play Ludo games with robots. For this, we have to select the robot player. We are now playing Ludo games with robots. Or you can play with up to four players. For this, we have to select four players. Now we can play Ludo game with four people. If we want, we can make these players into robots. Now we will make three players robots. We are now playing with three robot players. So let's now make a Ludo game like this. We will purchase a source code to create professional Ludo game. You can buy this source code from Code Canyon. Check out the video description. I will give the discount link of this source code in the video description. Once you purchase the source, you will be able to use it for a lifetime and you will get updated version for a lifetime. If you need to customize the source code of any apps, please contact us by email. Now we will learn how to purchase source code from Code Canyon. For this, we must open an account on Envato. Here you will open an account with your account information. I have already created an account on Envato, so I will now log into the account. Now you have to click on the Add to Cart button to purchase the source code. Then click on the Go to Checkout. We can purchase the source code using two payment gateways such as MasterCard or PayPal. If you want to make payment through MasterCard, then click on MasterCard. You have to pay a total of only $19.61. Enter your MasterCard information here to make the payment. Then click on the Pay Securely button and your payment will be completed. Then you can download the source code of Ludo Game. Or if you do not have a MasterCard, you can pay through PayPal. Payment via PayPal is very easy. Click on Pay Securely with PayPal button to make payment through PayPal. Then you can easily pay by logging in to your PayPal account. Then you can download the source code of Ludo Game. If you need any help, please contact us by email. Now we edit the source code of Ludo Game. For this, we need to download Android Studio. You will visit the Android Studio official website. Then you need to download Android Studio by clicking on the download button. You can see that Android Studio is being downloaded. I have already downloaded Android Studio. 
so I will not download Android Studio anymore. Then you need to install Android Studio. You can see, I have already installed Android Studio. After purchasing the source code we will be given a zip file. We will now extract this zip file. Then we will go inside the folder. Now we will click on this folder and submit it to our Android Studio. We have successfully submitted source code to Android Studio. Now we will launch the virtual device. Then we will install our Ludo game app. Our Ludo game has been successfully installed. Now we will change the icon and package name of our app. First, we will change the app icon. We will get the icons of our app in the icon folder. We will use the app icon.co website to create the icon. We will only select Android. Then you need to upload the app icon. We must enter the file name icon. Then you have to download by clicking on the generate button. Now I will extract the downloaded zip file. Now we need to copy these folder. Then I will go to Android Studio. Now let's select any one icon. Then click on your mouse right button. Now go show in Explorer. Now I will paste the copied folder. We can see that a folder has not been replaced. Now we will solve this problem. The problem is solved. Now we will change the package name of the app. We must give the package name of the app unique. You can see the package name of these app. You must select text to change the package name. Then you have to click on Shift plus F6 button on the keyboard. Now enter your new package name. Then we will select all places. Now click on the ref actor. Again click on the do ref actor. This way you can change the package name of any app. Then we will change the name of our game. Now we will run our game. We can see some errors. Now we will solve this problem. To solve this problem, we need to open Firebase account. Now click on the Get Started button. Then we need to log into our Gmail account. Now we will create a new project. Then enter your project name. Click on the Continue button. Again, click on the Continue button. We will now associate this project with Google Analytics. Then I will click on the Create Project button. Now click on the Continue button. Then we have to click on the Android icon. Now enter your package name. Then enter your app name. Then we have to generate the debug signing certificate. For this, we need to click on the Gradle. Now we will copy the SHA1 code. Now click on the Register App button. Then you need to download the Google Service JSON file. Then click on the Next button. Again click on the Next button. Then click on the Continue to Console button. Click on the Authentication. 
Then go to sign in method. We will turn on the email password. Then we will turn on Google. Now click on the project. We will delete the default Google JSON file. Then we will copy the new file. Now I will paste the file in the app folder. Now we will run our game. You can see that our game has been successfully installed. Now we will uninstall the old app. Now we will change the splash screen of the app. For this, we need to find the screen folder. Then we need to visit the appcon.co website. Now I will click on the image sets menu. Then we will upload the splash screen image. We must name the image screen. Now I will download by clicking on the generate button. Then I will extract the downloaded zip file. Now click on Show in Explorer. Now we will replace the images in this folder. Now we will run the app. You can see the splash screen of our game has changed. Now we will change the background image of the app. This is the background image of our game. We will now add a new background. Now we will run the app. Wow, the background image of our game has changed. Now we will change this logo. For this, we need to add a new logo. Then we will change this icon. For this, we will add new icon. So let's now run the app. Yes, our logo has changed. And the icon has changed successfully. Now we will change the information of the app. First, we have to write the name of the app. Then enter your app description. Then you have to give your company Gmail. Now change the URL of the website. Here you must enter the URL of your company website. Then enter your company name. Now I will change the version of the app. For this, we will go androidmanifest.xml. Then we will enter the version of the app. Now we will add advertising to our app. For this, we must open Google AdMob account. I have already opened an AdMob account. So now I will log in to AdMob account. 
For this, we must log in to our Gmail account. Now I will set up new apps for advertising. We must choose the Android platform. Currently, our apps are not uploaded to the Play Store, so I'm not choosing. You must try to publish the app in the Play Store, otherwise, ads will not be shown in your app. Then we have to write the name of the app. Now we will click on the App Add button. Now we need to copy the app ID. Then we will go AndroidManifest.xml. Paste your app ID code here. Now we will copy the publisher ID. Then we will go main activity. Now I will paste the publisher ID here. Now we need to create a banner ad unit. Then you have to copy the banner ad unit. Then we will go to hooks.js. Then I will put the banner ID here. Then we will create the interstitial ad unit ID. I will copy the interstitial ad unit ID. Is testing enter false? Now we will change the privacy policy URL of our game. Customizing the important functionality of our app is complete. Now we will publish our game in the Play Store. For this, we need to click on the Generate Sign Bundle. We will select the Android App Bundle. Because we want to publish our app in the Play Store. Now click on the Next. Now we have to make Key Store Path. For this, we need to click on Create New. Then we will click on the folder icon. Now we will select the folder location. I will create a new folder. Then you have to enter the file name. Now we have to enter the password. Validity year, I am choosing 100. Then we have to fill in this information. We have filled in the complete information. Now click on the OK. Now we will change the location of the export path folder. I'm creating a new folder. Now click on the next. We must select the release. We will then change the destination folder location. Now click on the finish. Now we have to wait some time. Our game has been successfully exported. Now we need to upload this file to the Play Store and publish the game. Then we can make unlimited passive income through this Ludo game. Through this video, we have created a complete Ludo game. You can make unlimited income by making Ludo games like this. If you have any questions about this video, be sure to comment or email us. If you are a new visitor to our channel, you must subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much watching this full video.